When you visit this place, take some time to imagine how it might have looked before the tourists arrived. There's a lot about the people who built these temples that we don't understand. Why did they choose this windswept spot? How did they move these enormous stones? More to the point, why did they move them? We don't even really know exactly what the structures were used for, but we do know that they were very special places. Now we see raw rocks open to the elements, but when the temples were in use, they would almost certainly have been covered with roofs of hide, wood, or perhaps even of stone. Some parts of them would have been plastered and decorated with elaborate patterns. A couple of thousand years after the temples were built, their builders left Malta and the pages of the history books. Nobody knows what happened to them or where they went. <laughs>